Welcome back to CTV Morning Live as we continue our Ask the Expert segment with the Shane and Poitra Dental Center. Both uh, Dr. Michael Poitra and Dr. Kathy DeShane are joining us here in studio. That's how you can get a hold of us. We already have a ton of questions coming in. We still have a lot more information we want to get to. And uh, briefly before, before we take some phone calls, we want to talk about trauma because this is something that you deal with yeah, a lot. Exactly. A lot of people don't know what to do with a uh, traumatized tooth. A, a tooth that completely comes out, you can save that tooth. Uh, you wash it up as best you can, put it back in the mouth, put it back in the hole if possible. If not, put it in the mouth. If you think the child's not going to swallow it, put it in the mouth. If not, put it in, in milk, water, and get to the dentist as soon as possible. You could re-implant a tooth within half an hour to an hour. It's got to be quick. An hour is pushing it. A kid in the playground bumps, the tooth comes okay. out. No, no. The baby teeth, we are not putting them back. Baby no. teeth is baby different. Teeth, we're this not. is adult teeth. Yeah. Six if years and more. Six yeah. years and up. Okay. If they lose their baby teeth, you're not putting it back. It's um, You'll it, damage the adult tooth. Yeah, you don't do that. But with the adult teeth, we see it quite often with uh, with sports, like they play hockey, baseball, mainly in the street, and they don't wear their sports guard, and something happens. So yes, you can reimplant it quick and fast, or put it in something. And you humid. wanted it in milk? You said in milk and water. Milk or water, water. keep okay. it moist. Yeah. Keeping it moist. And yeah. if you're able to put it back in on an adult tooth, six years or more, it's a real adult tooth and you know it, put it back in if, if you not can. Not a baby tooth, not very a baby important. Tooth because okay. you're Great information. We are going to get to some of the soothers and the, uh, the the shapes and which ones are good they're and which ones important. are not in a little bit, but I do want to take some of the questions that have come in because there have been a yeah. lot. So we're first going to go to uh, Fiona who's on the line. Good morning, Fiona. Hello. Good morning. And I understand you have a question about your daughter. Yes, I wondered how a three-year-old could end up with nine cavities when um, she was purely breastfed, and I always wiped her gums with a wet face cloth. I brush her teeth two to three times a day, and I don't understand if it's hereditary or what it wow. could be from. Um, th there is a part of immunity system, yes, and uh, it is documented that uh, some kids are more prone to have VK in, in their mouth, even we take a lot of precaution. Um, I would recommend to see a dentist earlier at this point and have some more prevention done. Um, see, see the children more often by the dentist and then uh, review all the diet too with your dentist. Your dentist can also talk about diet and see uh, what you can implement or what you can remove from the diet of a child to make sure that uh, we're going to drop the incidence of DK. Would that change between her baby teeth? Would it maybe get stronger as the child has then their adult Absolutely. teeth that you could see a shift? A lot of times yeah. uh, I have some kids that have a lot of cavities young at age. When they get their adult teeth, it's gone. And okay. that's what we're praying for all the time. So, Fiona, there's hope. <laughs> there's there's hope. hope as your daughter gets but older. It's, yeah. A lot of it is, uh, is diet. So, um, starches. Starches are sugars and bread pastas, and et cetera, is a sugar. Mm -hmm. People don't realize that a lot of times. And cavities are catchy. You can get it from parents. The, it's a bacteria. It is catchy. It's been documented. It's been researched. Uh, I'm not pointing to yeah. parents or anything, but it could be a combination of things, mm -hmm. et cetera. So there's a lot of, of sources, and it's not just one silver bullet that says, you, your child has a lot of cavities because you did this. You didn't do this. No, it's not that. There's a lot of, a lot things of factors. Yeah. Interesting information. That's All right, we have to take another call. This one's coming to us from Orleans. I believe Rosemary's on the line. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry, this is an adult question. No, that's I, not a okay. Okay. I needed to know the process. I have a lot of missing teeth, but I also have broken teeth. Mm -hmm. So what, I know the cost of fixing all that would cost a fortune. I just wonder what the process would be of removing the teeth and getting dentures. Okay. Uh, number one, going to complete dentures, meaning no teeth at all, not a really good avenue. So yes, I agree that if you have really broken down teeth, you may have to sacrifice a few. Yes, I agree with that. But if you're able to keep a couple on the top, especially on the bottom, keep a couple because a complete denture on the bottom is a nightmare. It's hard to get used to. It's sensitive. Uh, it, it requires a lot of patience. If you're able to keep a couple on the bottom, and you, uh, then you're going to appreciate that. So yeah, there is some cost involved with uh, the bottom and the top. Now price tags and stuff like that, very hard to set up here. We ha haven't seen you. We don't know what's involved, how much it is to couple teeth and then go to a couple dentures. 
you're looking at, at, at some money, but there's ways of doing this over months. There's ways of, of you deciding how much you want to pay per month and getting there slowly. It's not something that's done overnight. It's slowly we get there and, and show you what's going on with your teeth, with digital x-rays, with pictures of your teeth, etc. And from there, you decide with us what you need done or with a dentist, no problem. And then you slowly get to what you need. But you were pretty quick to say, if you can keep the teeth, yes. keep it's the teeth. The point to keep some teeth is to prevent losing the bone and the, the supports around it, you know? And specifically for a woman, we have our muscle and we want to keep the structure mm -hmm. in our face and all of that. So losing the bone and having more forces to chew our food it's it's much more healthier to, to if you can keep some okay some great advice there we're gonna take a call from Ryan after the break I know a lot of people not thrilled about having to go to the dentist's office <laughs> we'll talk about that you can send us in your questions uh, and give us a call live on the air 789-6559 extension 2803 send us in an email ottawa.warning at ctv.ca or leave us a message on our Facebook page we're back after this <laughs> 